Hi guys, welcome to this video about Quantstamp. It's some kind of review. Of course, it's not an in-depth review, but it is some information about what's going on with this company or what could go, uh, yeah, what could be going on with this company. I mean, you know that the price action since the all-time high has been really bad and uh, I would say Quantstamp are one of the biggest losers of the large companies in the market. They lost about 97% since the all-time high. Unfortunately, I don't have any clear calculation because they are not on this website which lists the loss since the all time high and there's another uh, a reason i mean that's the web page it's this uh, thing that's the on chain fx uh, new they called themselves mesori uh, uh, io i don't know why but it does not cover this token for some reason and that's a little bit strange it has some basic information about but not much so it's a little bit difficult to get every information but what concerns me more is like their behavior what they how they react to recent problem and the recent problem of course was the delisting on kucoin and there's some information when we go on reddit the quant stamp stamp thread it uh, is about actually the KuCoin delisting and yeah here we can see some answer or, or question about that they say um, telegram quant stamp mo uh, moderators start banning just for asking uh, what ha what's happening I mean uh, yeah this user definitely says the yeah gives the right answer that sucks i mean that's not a good sign i mean they don't have uh, a lot of listings when we go back to the coin market cap we go to markets that we, we can see um there is actually 95 percent or even more is now on binance uh before it was i think the ma majority was on kucoin now it's on binance i mean after that uh if binance the lists and yeah i don't say it's very likely but it's not unlikely and then there's only huobi left and after that just some really uh small uh exchanges and every time they get the listed of course it will hit the price and Binance uh, they had uh, history they are having a history now of a lot of delistings, things and it is uh, particularly about companies which do not provide proper information and it looks like Quantstamp is a company definitely which does not like to provide proper information I mean there have been a lot of companies in the coin in the, the crypto space which have been releasing numbers or at least some information about what's going on regarding financing in this bear market and i haven't seen anything about quantstamp even when a lot of people uh, assume that they are still properly financed or they should be properly financed because they raised about 30 million dollars in probably most ethereum and it that was uh when when ethereum was around 300 dollars a little bit more so they lost about um 65 percent or so which is not so much i mean there are other companies which had icos in early 2018 they lost 90 or 95 percent of their uh funds which they got from icos and quantstamp should actually be one of the companies which should be well financed but you never know uh what they did with their funds 
so actually the strange which uh, a strange thing we uh, uh, on top of this is i have seen can't remember where it was i have seen a large review about this topic what's going on actually with the utility and usage of the quant stamp token it was actually meant to be used on uh, for their customers to review the smart contracts but i don't know how this should have been happened i mean you buy some of these tokens use it during testing they got like burned during testing or i don't know um yeah like it is with uh xrp or something like that where for every transaction tokens are being burned so i was at this impression but i asked the question and first they didn't like to answer the question at the end they told me um no no tokens are being burned so i don't know why or how the token holders should profit uh from these operations and what's even worse the creator of this review wrote that um he has found out during research that some uh companies have been paying a uh, quant stamp in us dollars or i think also in ethereum for their service to analyze their smart contracts and not in quant stamp token how it should have been so no wonder this token was going down by 97 percent when there is actually no support uh, regarding the utility i mean usually you would expect that uh, utilization would support this token like yeah, again the sample with xrp or some other coins which are being used and then they are burned or you have to buy a lot to use them or you have to hold to use them for a certain time or whatever um but here there is no obvious incentive uh incentiveness or something like that uh f f yeah if you hold you don't need this token to test uh obviously uh it, 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 it's super strange and if you ask questions again um the mods are not uh willing or the admins are not willing to answer questions in the telegram channel and when you if you ask too many questions you get banned as i've been banned as well uh, that's really annoying i mean the behavior of this whole team is super super strange and absolutely not professional and i would definitely not recommend to invest and not a single us dollar into quant stamp i mean i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a profession financial uh, professional in any kind this is just my personal opinion i for myself i would not invest a single dollar into this company or into this token whatever uh, i mean i i don't mind what you do but i i such heavily suggest that you do really deep research before you invest into this uh, token because they you really are hiding information they are not communicative uh, i don't know uh, why they are having the telegram channel at all if they are not answering questions and they really seem not to like to answer questions this is the channel it's uh, I think it's, it's really the official channel, Quantstam, 16,000 uh, 16, followers. And this is my first question, which I have been asking. Sorry for the noob question. I heard the token is used for smart contracting testing. So how can price profit of this will token be burned during testing? Thanks for the answer. 
And his answer was just, uh, we are not commenting on market subject matter, there is no burning of token though. So at least he was answering that there's no burning of token, but I'm not sure if this is really correct. But I mean, what is it about market? This has nothing to do with market. Uh, can you see that I've been asking about market? It is just about the core value of the token. So will it be used? So is there any benefit of uh, for the token holders? And he's just, uh, yeah, I mean, he's not at all even trying to answer the question or to be nice. So of course, then my second question was, uh, or my statement, uh, it has nothing to do with the market, it's just about the sense of the token. If you can't tell me the in incentive to hold the token, there's no reason for me to buy. And of course for other people too, and he just said, you ask about profit, this is being the company's official Telegram channel, uh, we are only uh, discussing concerning the growth and progress of the company and focus, focusing on the core values of the security side. I, I don't know what he even means. Maybe you understand I didn't really get the point. For me that's just excuses. So that made me a little bit mad and I got my final point and I told him that's exactly about the core value. Okay, no answer is also an answer and then admin showing the tongue is also an answer. Seems there is no meaningful answer to this and that's obviously the reason for so such low coin price amount of the game and now you can block and ban me like dozens who ask the same questions. I don't mind, I like free speech. If you don't like it, it's your channel and it took just a couple of seconds and then he blocked me. So this is the error message which I got then, of course this is in uh, German. Um, yeah, it, should, it, it basically says an error channel is not um, accessible, click for technical details and when I clicked on the guy uh, who run, I mean who worked as an admin at this time, that was uh, this guy, um, that's his name here and that's his picture and if you uh, want to see it more close that's the picture and now please tell me is this something which you want to see when you are an investor into a 30 million co uh, dollar company is this uh, the picture uh, which you want to see from the rep I mean yeah I definitely not and for me this is game over and what you do it's your decision but uh, and for me I'm out of the game so that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.